Well, I've been to the garage and I've filled two one-gallon containers, filled up the tank, and uh, actually normally with the electric pump, um, which is mounted just behind the tank. In other words, it's the first thing um, after the fuel tank. Uh, you normally, if your tank runs dry, you have to prime that short bit of line. But I think because I'm on those things, therefore the front end's up, um, a couple of goes and the pump took it and pumped it for you. Through. And uh, that was it. It all started. Uh, <coughs> I was thinking today because... Um, when I go for my MOT each year, and I, I don't go to a lenient MOT guy, but I go to a guy who understands old vehicles, and that's a rare thing these days. And um, there's a lovely Welshman called Jim, and when we get this up on the, you know, up on the, uh, what do you call it? Not the ramps, you know, when we get it up in the air, um, we'll both go underneath. And he's really good, because we'll go front to back, and he'll pick up anything that he thinks that I might like to do in the next 12 months, which is a fabulous working relationship. And uh, this year he said, oh, oh boy, you, you might want to put some old engine oil on. It's not very good Welsh, is it? Uh, you might want to put some old engine oil underneath there. And I thought, yeah, he's got a point. And uh, so, of course, when I did the tank, I thought, well, well, actually, uh, initially he suggested, oh, a little tank sealer might sort that. But I said, well... You know, 30 years for a tank, that's rather a long time, isn't it? So, you know, maybe it's time we got uh, a new tank. Uh, but if you can find... Uh, it's my biggest tip, I suppose. If you're going to get your vehicle MOT, don't get it MOT at a garage that does repairs because there's always that chance that they're punting for work. Uh, whereas if you go to a garage that just does MOTs, you'll either pass or you'll fail. Or you'll maybe get a few advisories. And uh, that's my tip. When you find the garage that you're really happy with, stick to them. Uh, so that's it for the fuel tank, I should imagine. Uh, next job, which will be fun, will be changing the radiator at the front, which I've been meaning to do. And uh, hopefully over the next couple of weeks, I can pull the old one out and put a new one in. Uh, I've actually got two brand new ones, hella ones. Uh, <laughs> I know I don't need two, but the price was so ridiculously cheap I bought two of them. So uh, I have got another one. But when if, if I do sell it, I will not be selling it at the price I bought it for. Sorry. <laughs> you know, the, the fortune's all mine. So that's it really. Uh, and hopefully if I can get a few more dry days this week. Uh, the camera's all ready to go out. It's all MOT and taxed anyway. Uh, but hopefully if I can get a few dry days this week, you know, we can get out and about in the camper and do some stuff. Uh, the worst bit is, and those who know I've done this beach hut interior, is um, this problem. <laughs> Which happens to all campers, you just end up full of junk. And that's where I'm at. So that's the other thing I've got to do this week is clear it again because uh, I took a lot of stuff out of the back obviously for the tank so anyway signing off for this Sunday and uh, we'll see what we can do next yeah it'll either be radiator or mm, I don't know we'll check all the hoses everywhere I think in the engine bay the water cool hoses uh, I haven't got any leaks but I might do you never know right see you later <laughs>